Ever since update 6.2, there has been a large drop off in the amount of medics that I'm seeing on the battlefield. And today we're not going to go into which class you should play because that's obviously up to the player. You paid the money to buy the game. It's up to you how you play the game. I'm just here to give some tips to the remaining medics and some of the mistakes that I'm seeing on the battlefield. Now for starters, I'm not a pro player. I'm just someone that tries to do the best I can and take tips that I've learned from better players than I and try to apply those. And today I wanna to share some of those with you guys so that you can help better play the game. Now, before we start, make sure that if you enjoy the video to leave it a nice juicy like. And if you really, really enjoy this content, then make sure you subscribe to get more videos like this. Now let's jump right into the tips and tip number one is going to be use smoke. Smoke is the most important tool the medic has. It does so many things. It can help you be a much better player. It has such a variety of uses. For instance, you can use it to not only give soft cover to squad mates or teammates that you want to revive, you can also use it as soft cover to get out of a hot situation. Say you're pinned down by a couple MMGs and a really good sniper, pop the smoke down, Make sure that you and your squad have cover to exit that situation so maybe you can possibly flank them and get the jump on them or if it's a breakthrough and they've just taken the sector, you can retreat successfully to the next sector. Now another purpose smoke has is not just to cover a retreat or something like that. You can use it to cover your movements when you are playing aggressively and on the attack. If you pop smoke in one area but flank to another, the enemy will try to look through the smoke and see if you're going to come out until you pop up behind them, having gone a different direction and getting those nice juicy kills. Now obviously the big thing that smoke is used for is soft cover for revives and you're going to want to revive people a lot and that will jump into my second tip and that is revive people. There are a lot of game modes in Battlefield 5 that revolve around tickets. Whether it's breakthrough, conquest, front lines at times whenever that does come up, rush, a lot of game modes revolve around a certain amount of tickets that you have. So in order to prevent those tickets from being drained too fast, you're going to want to revive as many people as you can. Now let's just take a scenario in a game, say you're just not reviving people and you're on the attacking team in breakthrough and your squad mates, teammates are constantly dying without getting any help and your team is bleeding tickets. Well, you're more likely to have your team pinned down in the first or second sector because you're not going to have those reinforcements coming back because they're all dying and being used up really quickly. And you don't want that because that's going to lead to more losses. Whereas if you're reviving these guys who are already up in the fighting, and you can get them revives, that's less time for them to get back to the front, and it's also less tickets being used, which means more soldiers out there being able to take these objectives, and thus being able to grind all the way to the end. Now, tip number three is you want to be careful who you revive, and I know I just said revive as many people as you can because it'll help your team win, but you want to be careful because sometimes it's better to waste one ticket than it is to waste two tickets because if you go out in the middle somewhere and you're just Rambo medicing people and you get shot, well, if you're the only medic around, then all of you are going down. If you don't have any smoke left, sometimes it's best to just let one ticket go as opposed to go out there, try to risk it, and lose possibly two tickets. You have to be smart about it, even though you want to revive as many people as you can, some people just can't be saved and you have to accept that. It's not a terrible thing, you shouldn't be getting hate mail from people saying, gosh why didn't you revive me? A lot of times I see people, they, they want to be a good medic and they just want to revive everyone they possibly can, but in the end they get themselves killed as well, and that doesn't help the team at all, in fact that actually hurts the oh, team. Yeah. Here, clear! Ugh. Did look, I found, look, I found these. What the? Yeah, the, the uh, defibrillators. Yeah, huh? Yeah, defibrillators. Did you kill them? Who? <laughs> okay, clear. Ugh. What? This is great. You can never die. What? Yeah, I can't. You, you got it. Oh, damn it. Clear. Ugh. Okay. Kill menu. them, damn it. Menu, why do you have the small gun? Because that's what you get revived as. I don't know. Yeah, but do the big gun. No, I can't that's... do the big gun. It's better. It's... Oh, Claire! 
Well, shoot these guys. They're still killing us. I am shooting them. No, you're not. You got your defibrillator out. Oh, yeah. That's right. Hold on. Pack. Again, pack. Oh, this gun is smaller than... <laughs> oh, God. Claire! <laughs> Can you just let me die? Let me die. Sure. So be careful when and where you are reviving people, but you still want to try to revive as many people as you possibly can. Now tip number four is throw med packs and drop med crates everywhere. And the reason you're going to want to do that is because medic is the only class that can heal people fully because of the attrition system. Attrition means that all the other classes, when they take damage, they can only recover so much after they, you know, get out of the fighting and whatnot. Now, each class does get one medic pack themselves, but that can go very quickly, as a lot of you know. The important thing about the medic class is you can go around throwing med packs and med crates to people so they can heal more often. So if your squad is dropping medic packs in a gunfight against another squad that isn't doing so, your squad will have the advantage because they'll be able to heal up sufficiently after each particular gunfight, maybe when they're reloading or something, and be able to get right back into the fighting, whereas the other squad will be defeated much quicker and much easier because they won't be being healed properly and your team will be able to move in advance and be able to keep the fighting going, whereas their team will lose their tickets and be defeated and won't be able to advance. And that's just one of those little things that it may appear small in a piece of the actual match, but it has a much larger effect the more it adds up. And that's why these med packs and these medic crates are so effective and why you should be using them. And it's not that nobody is using them, it's just some people aren't when they really should. So again, remember to dish out medic packs, remember to dish out medic crates, and make sure to revive people. Now the last tip I want to give is be as aggressive as you possibly can as a medic. You are the only class that can heal yourself with an unlimited amount of medic packs. And you also have the SMGs and the bolt action carbines. Now, obviously the carbines are not gonna be the best at close quarters combat, but if you get a Tommy gun or a Swomi or the ZK and you have a nice large mag with a good rate of fire, you can take out a lot of people in a short amount of time and that is excellent for flanking, especially in game modes like Rush where there's some really easy flanking routes where you can get under people and around the back of them and that way you don't have to worry about attrition getting you for your health. You can get as many gunfights really as you want until you die or run out of ammo. Now the other nice thing is obviously with attrition you can just run over the people you've killed and take their ammo and use it for yourself. So being a medic is nice because you can be fairly self-sufficient out there so if you are a solo player I recommend checking out medic. It, it's a really good class still. Some people would argue it's a little overpowered because it can heal itself and it still has all those effective weapons in the class. But if you don't play a lot of medic, I say give it a try. If you do play a lot of medic, I hope you're able to take something from these tips or maybe you can give me some tips down below that you might have just in the comments. I'd love to have a conversation with you guys. So let me know down below what you guys think about the medic class. What other tips do you have? What do you think about these tips? Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.